chat. I'm trying to make a video here. Yeah. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Now I decided that I wanted to make a, to bring kind of a new video onto my channel today, and that is the booktube recommendations videos. So basically, what I'll be doing is I'll be giving you a overview of the booktube videos for the month of June that I really enjoyed and that I want to kind of spread the love for and uh, have other people become aware of and maybe give a go, uh, maybe have them uh, discover a new channel or at least uh, have them discover a video that they will really enjoy. Um, so I kind of came up with this idea because uh, I like watching booktube a lot and um, you get the recommendations from YouTube for other booktube videos based on what you've been watching. But like um, there are probably some hidden gems that you might not discover unless you've, uh, you're have actively like um, subscribed to a certain channel. And even then, you know, there's I was subscribed to so many channels that I don't get to see every single video. So uh, I just thought, you know, if more people were to follow my example, for example, we can get certain booktube videos, uh, more views, and like spread love for certain booktuber or certain booktube videos. Now, disclaimer for this, as I've said already, I don't watch every single booktube video out there. I'm subscribed to a host of people, but I'm not subscribed to every single booktuber. Uh, probably there's more booktubers that are not subscribed to than booktubers that I am subscribed to. Uh, I don't watch every single video of every single booktuber, because otherwise I would never get around to making booktube videos at all, or, or reading for that matter. So um, basically this is really a selection based off of what I've seen uh, for the month of June and one of those videos that I want to especially highlight. This doesn't mean that any of the other videos that I saw weren't good or weren't uh, entertaining or anything like that. These are just like the standouts, the ones that I thought were very original or just super funny or anything like that. So um, I'll be getting into it. Um, I want to make this a monthly deal. I'm not going to like get to 10 every month, for example. I think I got to 10 for the month of June, for example. But it will totally depend, of course, on the amount of booktube that I'm watching. For example, in the month of July, I haven't watched too much booktube because I've been totally engrossed in uh, watching gymnastics uh, this month. So I haven't watched too much booktube, so I think the list for the month of July will be a lot shorter, for example. So definitely feel free, if you're inspired by the physio, to do exactly the same thing. Uh, no worries there. Or uh, to go down into the comments section and kind of uh, recommend a video that you've really enjoyed in the month of June or already for the month of July, give me some inspiration for my next video, no worries. So definitely feel free to spread the booktube joy even more. Um, so the first one that I want to be uh, referencing is a basically kind of new discovery for me and that is the channel of Daniel Green uh, and basically his fantasy news segments. So I like most of the videos that Daniel Green puts out there. I discovered him in the month of June and I watched a lot of his videos in that month as well but I really love his fantasy news segments. He does it I think every single week and then he goes over everything that is new is in ter new in terms of fantasy so basically you, that can be like a new release date for a book um, a first look at uh, an adaptation news about an adaptation um, a video game news it's, it's basically everything related to the fantasy genre not just looking at um, the book uh, like the medium of book um, and I really really uh, enjoyed his I'm licking the one that talked about uh, Stormlight Archive book 4 for example in which he gave uh, it kind of spread the update from Brandon Sanderson uh, about where he is in his writing process. Now this is a very interesting video if you want to be on on yeah up to date about your fantasy because for example yes I follow Brandon Sanderson so I'd already seen this news in advance but I don't follow every single fantasy uh, author or every single fantasy publisher for example or things like that so uh, I wouldn't have all of this information and while not all of that information will be relevant to me maybe uh, you can get some new recommendations out of it or some news about a series that you really love that you didn't know was going to get adapted or anything like that. So I think his fantasy news segment is wonderful. He also does some very insightful reviews. Uh, he does reviews a, a lot so yeah, if you haven't read the books these might not always be uh, as interesting as, uh, as I thought they were. So the second one is very much a like a low-key recommendation. This is a video uh, of a Reagan from Peru's Project. Uh, it's basically her June favorites, and the reason why I'm putting it out there is just for a very short segment in that video in which she uses the air quotations in like a very relatable way when she's talking about fitness. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to shout out to that little segment in her video uh, and so for people to enjoy and to relate as well. 
So the third video that I want to give a shout out to is uh, Eric Carl Anderson's The Secret Story Behind Mrs. Dalloway. Um, I've been wanting to get into Virginia Woolf for a very long time and this video definitely got me excited to do so. Um, so in this story, in this video, Eric Carl, um, he gives us a very interesting and original uh, introduction to his video and he kind of takes us into the world of uh, Mrs. Dalloway. Well, he gives a very insightful rendering of uh, Mrs. Dalloway, he introduces a very interesting um, edition and gives us a, he shows us a bit of um, what is inside that edition, which I found to be very interesting. But he also takes us on a tour of like London and the places that uh, feature in Mrs. Dalloway. And so I really love this video as a kind of way to uh, spread the love for Mrs. Dalloway or get more people interested in reading Mrs. Dalloway. Next up is a video by Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts, and that is uh, Harry Potter and the Classics. Now, Jean is a classicist, and so uh, she has a very widespread knowledge of uh, classic literature and classical uh, elements and things like that. And so she has done a sort of series on um, like the way her classic uh, classical literature or elements from classical literature are featured in the Harry Potter books and this video from the month of June was about the Goblet of Fire and uh, I find that very interesting I think uh, it's something uh, it's a very new take on uh, videos about the Harry Potter genre you don't see too many videos that go in depth in certain of the background elements of a Harry Potter story for example and thought this was a very uh, well done video in which she kind of takes you to uh, through uh, the elements from classical literature featured in this book going from for example certain monsters and things like that which is definitely good in uh, a video about Goblet of Fire because a lot of monsters are uh, featured in there uh, so for example the Sphinx that uh, features in the maze is also featured in her um, discussion of Harry Potter and classic literature. So next up is a very interesting video in this uh, segment because it's basically uh, a very atypical booktube video in which we are not getting, getting a review, we're not getting a book haul, we're not getting anything that you would typically see on a booktube channel. What we, I'm uh, referring to is a uh, soundtrack. So it is a video by Elliot Brooks in which she made a soundtrack for Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So uh, I absolutely adore this video. I think it's wonderful to see uh, this, type of, this type of content on booktube as well. And I think uh, it's very atmospheric uh, to have this on the background while you're reading uh, a bit of Skyward, for example, or if after you've just finished it to kind of look, uh, listen to this uh, score and immerse yourself in the in the emotions that have gone through you throughout this book. Um, but so yeah, I really love this video uh, and I definitely want to support this type of content more. Next up is a video that will be very relatable to many booktubers and that is a video by Ariel Bissett and that is How Many Unread Books. It's basically a video in which she, I, I think it was made at uh, BookCon, um, or book expo and it's basically a video in which she interviews a lot of different booktubers about how many unread books they still have on their shelves so it's very relatable uh, though some people have very 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 low uh, amounts on their shelves which I can only um, be in awe of because like I have way too many as most of the people in this video did uh, then I want to give a shout out to uh, a video by Rachel Marie from Rachel Marie Books, which is the Book Junkie Trials announcement. So uh, this has exploded in the meantime, so there's really no need for me to give it any more love. But in any case, if this has ex escaped your um, your attention, uh, the Book Junkie Trials was a new re readathon that took place that's taking place in the month of July. So it really is a, a a full experience you know she made a whole map and um, there are like four different types of characters that you can be in the map and then based on the character that you choose and if you are bad at choosing you even have a personality test to help you determine which character you should be based on which character you choose to be there are certain uh, there's a certain road map that you need to follow in either case you want to uh, find the holy grail and then there are also certain like uh, disabilities or advantages related to every single character. There's also a higher quest in which you can read even more and um, that can give you advantages for when, advantage, advantages for when you um, participate in the uh, second edition of this uh, readathon and things like that. So it's really been great and I'm absolutely uh, 
yeah, I'm absolutely happy to hear that uh, her readathon has been having so much success. I've seen it everywhere on BookTube, so it has indeed really skyrocketed, and that's just normal considering how wonderful uh, this readathon was put together. But so yeah, if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. Uh, uh, and in the meantime, you can already see certain vlogs and stuff like that about the readathon as well, so some more wonderful content there. And then I was also, the next video that I want to give a shout out is the recent reads video by Kate. Now, um, I really love this video, not just because it was set in a original setting, so she's got like the lake in the background and you can see boats going by and stuff like that, uh, but it also featured a wonderful product, product. so she, uh, she's featuring uh, a tea selection by Sips by or Sibsby and Sibsby I'm assuming, I, I think she had the same problem while she was uh, filming the video actually. But the main reason why I want to promote this video is because she, she was well spoken in the video about her love for the books that she has recently been reading. She really made me very excited to dive into some of these books and so I think it was a very well, uh, you know, it was really very powerful uh, recommendations video so that's why I wanted to uh, give it a shout out here. Next up is a video by The Poptimist, and this is uh, Booktubers in Cars, the Hangyo edition. Uh, so in this one, he's kind of making fun of Booktubers who uh, do, do Booktube recommendations or who uh, do uh, shots of them driving while uh, discussing books uh, in their like weekly vlogs or stuff like that. And he is doing a whole discussion video about a book that he's recently read in the car. Not only is it great of him to kind of uh, point out this uh, trend in booktube at the moment, but he also does a wonderful job of, re of uh, reviewing a book while driving. I mean, kudos on him. It seems like he's reading a script or anything like that, but it's definitely not possible while you're driving a car. So uh, I have I absolutely loved it. I also totally loved his discussion of the book at the same time because he gives a lot of um, detailed history about the uh, sort of content that is uh, featured in the book and um, while at the same time diving into the story as well. So I really enjoyed this video a lot. But so I definitely love this video so do uh, check it out. And so the finally, final video that I chose is The Truth About Book Con by Chandler. I really loved this video, I thought it was very well balanced of her experience at BookCon and then a discussion of uh, is BookCon worth it or not. Uh, I thought it was very nicely done. Uh, you no, know, I think it was a very well balanced video. It was... Um, it wasn't judgmental or anything like that, it was just stating uh, the way that she had experienced it and the way that she... Um, um, and know her thoughts on whether BookCon is worth it or um, her kind of like advice for will it be worth it for you or not um, like kind of pointing out certain things that you need to take into account when deciding on uh, whether you think the expenses for BookCon are worth it or not um, so I thought it was like there were multiple videos like this at that uh, around at the same time and I didn't see all of them um, because basically I have not gone to BookCon and since I'm from Europe I find it to be way too expensive for me but so uh, so I didn't have too much interest in all of these videos but I watched Chandler's video about it uh, and I really thought that she um, did a great job at uh, kind of discussing the different aspects to take into account when deciding on BookCon, uh, on going to BookCon or not. But so yeah, uh, these are the videos that I will be, uh, that I've chosen for the month of June. There are definitely a lot of other videos that I absolutely enjoyed. There are definitely a lot of small moments in other videos that I also enjoyed. I'm, tr I'm trying to, I would try to like have a mix of like videos that are, um, that I'm including because of, you know, the overall experience of the overall uh, idea behind the, in the video uh, with videos in which I found like small moments to be uh, like standout moments or to be super relatable or anything like that. So I would like to get a, a big mix of things in any case. Um, but so as I said in the, in the beginning of this video, do point out any videos that I might have missed or that might have popped up in the month of July that you want me to that you want me to consider for the month of July uh, in the comments down below. Uh, 
And that way I can uh, give them a go in case I haven't already and maybe include them in my next video. But so um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, a huge shout out to all, all the booktubers that I mentioned in here. All the, the In the description I will have all the links to the videos down below as well as the links to their channel overall. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, it will help me out a lot. Uh, I don't have a fixed filming schedule so I film whenever and I post whenever. I'm sorry, please deal with it. <laughs> Bye.